Have you ever wondered what happens at a research institute? Would you like to know what a day in the life of a scientist looks like? You're going to find out today. The film that you're about to see is a part of the Be Healthy as a Fish educational program. This program has been created by people who work at the International Institute of Molecular and Cell Biology in Warsaw. You've all heard of the Warsaw Mermaid, haven't you? But have you heard of the zebrafish? It's going to be the main character of this film. Over 100 scientists work at our institute. They conduct a lot of difficult and important research. To better understand their work, we asked for the help of a professor who's been working here since the very beginning. Hello, professor. Could you please show us around the institute and tell us more about the research world of molecular and cell biology? In our institute, there are as many as nine different laboratories. Each of them researches different phenomena occurring in cells, but all have one common goal to learn more about the functioning of living organisms, and mainly, the human body. Several years ago, a group of researchers from the Institute decided that it would be easier to understand the complicated human organism if we first studied a simpler one. The director of the Institute suggested that the small zebrafish would be a good model organism. His suggestion met with an enthusiastic reaction from the researchers. Do you know why they chose the zebrafish and not something else, like a mouse? In the first days of its life, the embryo of the zebrafish is transparent. Thanks to this, researchers can watch organs in its body. For example, they can observe fish when they're sick and compare the course of their disease with the disease in the human body. They don't have much time, though, because the organs of the zebrafish develop 20 times faster than those of a human being. You're probably wondering what connection there is between fish and human diseases. You need to realize that the zebrafish are genetically very similar to humans. Can you believe that over 80% of genes in the zebrafish are identical or very similar to those in a human body? Let us explain why this similarity is so important. Everyone who carefully observes nature will notice that the popular Polish expression, healthy as a fish, isn't entirely correct. Like humans, fish also get sick. Thanks to this, researchers observing zebrafish can find out why people get sick and how they can be treated. We'll explain it using an example. Children and little fish grow very fast. To be healthy, they need healthy bones. Researchers can observe how the skeletal system develops in zebrafish and thanks to this, know how to help a person whose bones get sick. It's very important because bones decide about the strength of our body. Each of us can get sick and, as you already know, so can fish. Young and old people quite often suffer from heart conditions. Fish hearts also get sick. Thanks to watching the little fish and its heart, researchers can learn about the functioning of a healthy heart and see what happens when it gets sick. And then, find a way to treat a sick human heart. The zebrafish turned out to be a great species for scientific observation. That's why scientists at our institute created the FishMed project, in which they want to learn about the secrets of human diseases, and the zebrafish has become their model organism. With money received from the European Union, they hired distinguished scientists and purchased special equipment. They also invited their prominent colleagues from research institutes abroad to cooperate and share their knowledge about working with zebrafish. As a result of this, a small fish town was created in the institute. Take a look. In the basement of our institute, there are fish tanks with 6,000 colorful fish. They are at different stages of development and belong to 46 families. Research aquaria don't resemble the decorative fish tanks with pretty plants that we keep at home or can see at the zoo. But the fish that we keep at the institute have to be looked after even better than those at home. The zebra fish is very demanding. Water in the tanks needs to be clean, have the right temperature at all times, its flow has to be controlled, and the fish need to be fed regularly and looked after every day. At our institute, there are several scientists who look after the fish. Our scientists don't always conduct research in their laboratories. They often meet with other scientists at lectures, seminars, and conferences, during which they have time to discuss their research. This exchange of information between scientists is very important because thanks to the joint effort of researchers from around the world, we can learn about and solve problems related to human diseases faster and more effectively. The name of our institute contains the word international, Scientists who work here come from various countries. We all speak English, which we also use while describing results of our research. 
Knowing English is important because the world of science has no borders, and this language facilitates communication and the exchange of information. Maybe one of you would like to become a scientist. The door of the International Institute of Molecular and Cell Biology in Warsaw is always open. Maybe one day, you'll have your own laboratory in which you'll conduct your own research? Goodbye, Professor. Thank you for the interesting trip around the Institute. The film was produced for the International Institute of Molecular and Cell Biology in Warsaw. The organizer of the Be Healthy as a Fish educational program.